beautifully they have done this yes and the message is so powerful what happened to you why do you look so gloomy nothing don't lie tell us what happened it may be so simple for you but for me it's a heavy loss yes we understand your pain now tell us what happened as you know my pet lovebird rosy has died yesterday it may be because 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 normally a lovebird can live only 10 to 12 years what about yours it's born when i was in 7th class now i am in 9th not because of that oh i got the reason rather the answer of the problem what is that it's because of radiation mobile towers emit the frequency of 900 or 1800 megahertz called microwaves many birds were killed due to this how do you know this google no indiran 2.0 please don't worry you can get another one leave it be merry as a bird i'm trying not only that then what global warming loss of habitat climate change power line collisions use of pesticides pollution etc where did you get it from maybe from google no chat gpt don't you remember that we had done an assignment last year on nature i do remember it do you know that our nature is facing a real threat not only in the case of birds but in many areas like 10 million hectares of forest were cut down each year increasing wildlife in amazon rainforest is highly alarming our sea level is increasing each year that is like adding water from a million olympic sized swimming pool to the ocean every day of the year can you believe but you have to what can we do like encourage others to plant trees protect rivers more and more add some civic sense like uh job throwing waste to the water bodies uh, road sides etc anything else like which can create any impact in society nothing just as others do making posters and posting a status for just 24 hours or prepare a speech and deliver it in the assembly or make a short video like this yeah let's end this talk here time is up this is already in the class Just wait. I'll tell you an interesting story. A short one. It will surely help you to do something. Speak up fast. Time is up. Once upon a time, in a dense forest filled with towering trees and vibrant wildlife, there lived a little sparrow. One scorching summer day, a devastating fire broke out in the heart of the forest. The flame quickly spread. consuming everything in their path the animals fled in panic desperately searching for safety amidst the chaos a little sparrow noticed the distress and despair of her fellow creatures she realized that they were in desperate need of water to survive without hesitation the little sparrow decided to take it upon herself to help her friends and save the forest from further destruction she fluttered her wings and flew swiftly towards a nearby river as she reached the river she dipped her beak into the river with each trip the sparrow tirelessly carried water from the river and sprinkled it over the burning trees and shrubs seeing this effort other birds and animals joined her in the mission to save their home the collective efforts began to have an impact The fire's intensity weakened as the forest received a much needed respite from the flames. So, little sparrow saved a forest from being ashes. Birds are so benevolent. Let's protect them by saving nature, planting trees and loving the greenery. I also would like to tell a story. Story written by Oscar Wilde, a cute story of nightingale. Very sorry, your story can be next year. Bye. Thank you.